Well, welcome to my office and welcome to another Word of the Week, our weekly WOW. First Wednesday of December this week, I take a moment to reflect upon a tradition that has become increasingly popular across Christendom. Advent season began last week. Depending on your religious heritage, you may or may not be familiar with the word Advent. The four weeks of Advent are observed by some religious groups as a season of preparation for Christmas, marking the beginning of the liturgical year in churches that use the liturgy. Advent began on the last Sunday of November in 2022, will end on Christmas Eve. So two of the four Advent Sundays have already passed. Some know Advent as a time of lighting candles, candles of hope, peace, love, and joy. The word Advent literally means coming. For some, reflecting on Jesus' coming involves both his birth and also his expected return. Jesus came in the incarnation. Jesus will come again. The word Advent does not appear in most English translations. I like to observe that we live between two Advents between two appearings, if you will. In Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 13, we read that the grace of God has appeared, and also that we are awaiting the uh, appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. This passage reminds us that we live between the already advent and the not yet advent. And that's why our alternative word of the week, this week is the word appearings. Well, application. What should we learn? How should our lives be changed? The traditional themes of hope, peace, love, and joy are certainly in view at this time of year. But Titus 2.11 and verse 12 especially uh, would lead us to a different conclusion, lead us in a different direction. Christians who are aware of living between two appearings, the appearing of God's saving grace and the glorious appearing of the fulfillment of all that we hope for. For such Christians, the lesson is focused in how we live day after day, teaching us to renounce ungodliness, to deny the passionate lifestyle of the world, to live lives characterized by sanity and self-control, righteousness and justice, and also holy godliness in a world that often seems headed in the opposite direction. Really, it's not difficult to extol hope, peace, love, and joy once a year for a few days. What is difficult, but also very essential for one who is serious about discipleship, being a follower of Jesus Christ. What is difficult for those who understand the biblical message of appearings and advent, is to make certain that our lifestyles reflect gratitude for his grace made possible in his first appearing and holy hope that looks forward to his second appearing. Our word of the week, Advent, or if you prefer, appearings in the plural. Thank you for being with me. Words for this life, words that point us to the next life. Remember that I love you, God loves you. That's the way it's going to be. I pray that you will go forth in this season, remembering not only that Jesus came, but that his coming in the incarnation, in his birth, is also a message that extends to his return. May we live lives worthy and aware of the fact that we, in fact, live between two appearings. God bless. Looking forward to being with you next week for another Word of the Week.